Hello my Fox Manager 2017 with Sunderland. Last time you saw us was the victory in the Flavia EFL Cup against um Derby. Um it's been pretty decent. The only league loss is we're against Watford, where we got destroyed for goals. I'm sure we pretty much dominate possession. But yeah. We just didn't shoot. A bit awkward. But anyway, we drew 1-1 with City, the first squad, and they scored really late on. We could have won that game. We didn't. 1-0 uh, against Middlesbrough, scored really early on. No else happened. Showing that. We beat United 2-0. I'm not sure where we... We dominated possession again. I'm really not sure where we're getting some of these results from. Uh, lost 3-0 City in the FA Cup quarter final, And beat uh, Crystal Palace 2-0. Pardon me. Uh, we have a thing for plays with Jay scoring, because if you didn't notice, in the final of the EFL Cup, Jermaine Defoe, Javi Manquillo, and Johnny, Johnny Javier Arezzo, Jan Kirkhoff, he ruins it, and Defoe. So I think it might be because we've got a lot of plays that begin with their first name or second name against we Jay. Anyway, I know that now, we're playing Swansea. We are all but safe. Because we are, you know, we've nearly at 40 points, which is usually the safety barrier, but we are currently 12 points in front of Crystal Palace. It would be 2 0, as I said. Interesting little facts about Crystal Palace. Moyes is managing them. Now, I took Moyes' job, obviously, but Allardyce managed him before that, obviously, because he does in real life. And they sacked him. They have a thing for ex Sunderland managers, apparently. But right. Swansea, uh, where are they in league? They are 10th, but we are 12 points, and technically speaking, we can really confirm, not really, really confirm, but sort of can, oh, he's injured still, like slightly sort of confirm um, safety. We can go 15 points clear, and, um, yeah, they're 12 points off us, so 15 points clear, five games left. Would be nice. Get off Metal Gear Solid. Get out of my way. No, not disappear. Thank you. Right, we're gonna I'll just slow it down because we speed up when I'm not on it, right? They're favourites, but not much between both teams. I will take a draw. I will take any points at all, to be honest. Gilfie Sigurdsson, brilliant player. And if you actually look at this, we've had um Defoe now has eleven goals in altogether. But Razor's done that. He's got six goals from central midfield. Kirkhoff's got four. Barini only comes on, and I don't know where what more is, but he's got five. Right, so we're kicking, well, they're kicking off. Um, I don't know if there's any other games going on right now. There should be, I think, yep. Uh, Crystal Palace are playing. They're playing middles, for God's sake, please draw. Maybe we can't confirm it, because they're playing each other and there's a point between them. They bring it forward, which uh, I'm not a fan of. Just shoot. Thank you. Oh, yeah. A um, couple of players injured. Pickford's out. And someone else is injured. I can't remember. Mankio, as you saw, did get did pick up an injury. But he's been back for a decent amount of time. That were unfortunate. That took a massive deflection. Sick. See, it's my thing. We can beat United. We can beat City earlier in the league, we can draw against them, and lose to them, but then we <laughs> end up losing against teams like Hull, or Watford, and potentially Swansea. Depends how this corner goes. Arezzo's picked it up though, out to Kirkhoff. Oh, that couldn't have taken a bigger deflection, it hit something, or someone should I say. Couldn't have, uh, you know, been a bit harder, but the highlight's still going. So Trash has got it, yeah, but I say getting to mail still about you. Uh, Johnny's got a lot of space. Oh, he did have a lot of space in it. It's a nice give and go. Oh, oh, Claudio, put it in. Oh, just, just waste the ball completely, you fucking bellend. Now they're bringing it forward, and Morrison's going to hit this. No, he's not. Oh, it's even worse. Don't take nicely to a player. Just, oh, that's the issue I've got with uh, Claudio on that wing. He holds the ball up a lot. 
for some reason doesn't act really quickly. He acts phenomenally slowly and really stupidly. Because like, he had all day to put that ball in box. And, I mean, I'd have kept him on if that weren't the first time he's done it. Oh, why is Trash... Tr Trash went at players that I went, yeah, you're never playing again. This was during the loss against Watford. Because he decided, he didn't do that, but he was about... I'm just going to do it while the game's going, because we're 2-0 down, so we basically lost. You're about here. Well, do it with their box. Fuck's sake, give me that. You're around here. He could have Joe whipped it in, done something with it. But he ended up booting it to, like, here. And I didn't have a player here, so they picked up the squad. Nice uh, story for you there, while this game goes on. And we've pretty much lost. More shots, more possession. Just, Defoe is shit. For some reason, he really, fuck's sake, didn't want to do that. He really picks and chooses when he wants to play well. He's phenomenally inconsistent, which is really, really wrong. Because, if anything, he's one of the most consistent players on the Sunderland team. If not the most consistent. Because even when he's not playing goals, playing goals, fuck's sake. Even when he's not scoring goals, he's still playing well. I put both my sentences into one. Or both my things. I'm not saying which sentences, I'm going to show up anyway. But he's phenomenally inconsistent. I need stand and come up. I need a new striker. He may get sold just due to the fact he's on 80k. And he's done well, but oh, for God's sake. Yeah, he injured my centre back. Behind. Oh, man, he has, oh he's, I think he's suspended for this game, actually. But yeah, Defer may leave. I definitely need another striker. Need another centre back. Need another left back. Another centre mid. And Don keeps getting sent off. Or oh, African. And African combinations really screws us over. Due to the fact that Kazri and Don, Dil Bodji, Kone. Yeah, we've lost this game. This is going to be another highlight though. We've still lost. What is it with my plays and just not passing? Stop being so fucking ball greedy. Bell ends. We're going to lose this 3 0 now. That's a finish in the fucking half, that. Even though it looked like Minone had that completely covered because he didn't, came straight at him. But I'm blaming that Kazri. That's two goals we've lost from his players just not passing. Which is ironic that Kazri's done that because he does it in real life. That's why, that's why, that's why Moyes doesn't play him. For any Sunderland fan that usually complains on the Facebook page, play Kazri. No, he's fat, overweight, and can't run. And he's not actually that fat, he's just a little bit chubby. Can't fat shame. He's a brilliant player when he wants to be. He's just ball greedy as fuck and thinks he's better than the whole team. So he can pass to anyone. That's why he don't play. And he is out of shape. Completely out of shape. Huh. <sighs> Lost 3-0. Just one zero. The Welsh team. Oh, about for three months. There you go. Oh, Ndong is injured, actually, but Ndong and Pickford are both nearly back. Yep, we had how many shots? 16. So I mean by Defer being wank. He's our only striker. Uh, Johnny did not play very well either, then. That's what I mean. He's had six goals in league. He is leaving. He definitely will be leaving. And a new striker will be coming in, because he's, obviously his stats are dropping off. I'm not saying Defoe is a bad player. Defoe isn't. I'm a Sunderland fan. I fucking love Defoe. He's incredible. He's he, There's a reason why he's one of Premier League's top goal scorers this season. One of the reasons why he's one of the only uh, strikers with over 200 goals. I've said that now and I bet I'm wrong. Did Crouch get over 200? Is that over 100? Must be over 200. He'd be absolutely incredible in real life. Just shite on this game. Which I found quite a lot actually. He didn't much to make goals last season. It seems to be a running thing with uh, Defoe on for manager. They do not make him as good as he should be. And that's purely because he plays for Sunderland. Because you can't give Sunderland a world class strike. Not world class. Uh, uh, no, no, not world class. Not world class. Very good striker. Because it'd be a bit. it look unbalanced and you could really exploit that. Yeah, I enjoyed Case's strike as well. If you had a really good striker with Sunderland, you could exploit that. I thought this guy were about 12. Turns out he's Albanian and 23. I thought you were English. 
thought it was going to be like on a Welsh. I thought it was going to be like one of their youths. It's because Joe Swansea aren't in Welsh League, innit? They'd tear that league to, bit, to uh, bits. Might make it a little bit better, though. All other teams, more money at league, you know? Development, uh, development of Welsh League. Nah. We're practically safe. 11 points in it. They actually did draw. I think. Yeah, drew 1 1. They've been a terrible run of form. But we. Uh, the last. Oh, fuck's sake, I keep the wrong thing. We're coming back for the last game. I think it's Burnley. We'll have confirmed a safety by then, but we do have to play Spurs, Chelsea, and Liverpool. So it's going to be a bit tough. Especially because two of them are away from home. We're going to put this 3 0 loss against Swansea behind us. But yeah, why is it. I mean, it's going to be a win. If it's a 2 0 win, I'm going to be really scared, though. Because we've had a 3 0 loss, a 2 0 win, a 3 0 loss, a 2 0 win, and a 3 0 loss. Okay, we win 2 0 at home and we lose 3 0 away. No, it's 3 0 loss then. For fuck's sake. I will see for the Burnley game, so yeah. That didn't sound right. Yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you for the Burnley game. That's going to sound really stupid now.